You know I'm of the freedom of speech. You know I'm of the other side of the non-disclosure agreements, the, the agreements. What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate each and every one of y'all rocking with the brand. All right, let's get to work. Cat Williams, one of the greatest comedians, one of the grandest talents we've seen in this generation, the last few generations. Obviously, when he says things because he's so polarizing, being a polarizing figure that he is, it causes a lot of attention. Well, he talked about Eddie Murphy well over a year ago now during an interview on V103 and it is circulating and becoming viral today for whatever reason or whatever the case may be. But we're going to talk about it because he talked about Eddie Murphy and obviously Eddie Murphy is a comedic icon, one of the greatest to ever do it. A lot of people have Eddie Murphy as well as Cat Williams in their Mount Rushmore of greatest comedians to ever do it. Well, Cat Williams has some things to say about Eddie Murphy. I'm going to play a little bit of that clip of what he had to say about Eddie Murphy. Then we'll come back and talk about it. Let's go. Don't tell me uh, Eddie Murphy is your favorite comedian because Eddie Murphy hasn't done comedy since the 80s. Are you saying your favorite comedy? <laughs> it, it just doesn't make sense. It's about, it's about how much of the body of work you can put out. So nobody knows who was beefing with Mozart because the guy <laughs> beefing with Mozart didn't put up any material. You know what I mean? So um, that's why history takes care of all of that. All right. Well, there you have it. And I think a lot of people are going to get what he said misconstrued. I don't think that he was saying Eddie Murphy isn't one of the greatest of all time, but it kind of has that conversation of if you haven't heard Tupac and if you haven't heard Biggie, how are they in your top five if you never lived to experience their work, even though we can go back in time and enjoy their bodies of work, how can they be somebody's top five that's living and grew up in 2002 and 2003, or born in 2002, 2003? That's just my opinion. I don't think Cat Williams was taking anything from the comedic legend, the comedic genius that is Eddie Murphy. I think he's just kind of based it on the conversation of how can he be in somebody's top five when he hasn't done anything in well over two decades? And some people will agree with that. I see Eddie Murphy as one of the greatest comedians of all time because I grew up listening and watching Delirious. I grew up watching and listening to Raw and enjoying those as a kid and being introduced to comedy in its raw, its state of form, no pun intended, when Eddie Murphy was doing it. That was kind of the beginning of my comedic journey, listening and enjoying comedy. So I, I have Eddie Murphy in my top five, but I wouldn't be mad at somebody that grew up or was born in 2002. My son was born in 2008. If he gets into comedy and Eddie Murphy's not one of his favorite, I'm not going to say he's crazy for it. So I understand the dichotomy. I understand the two, but I could be reading it wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think of what Cat Williams said. Break down his bars. Let me know if he was hating on the legend or if he was just kind of putting in perspective, man. Y'all let me know right now in the comment section. Definitely appreciate each and every one of y'all. Go to the official website of Viral Hip Hop News V hiphopnews.com appreciate each and every one of y'all until next time until next story sam man ceo of the brand you already know i'm out of here peace said oh god you the man Cass. i spit white like a clan mask and i'm a hustler i could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags some things can't last but this ain't just a podcast this is sam ant and oh god Cass. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.